come to my day in a life. I'm doing my makeup right now. Look at my table, that's all you can see. It's so bad. I know my mom's gonna send me a text after I post this video saying like, I need to get my shit together. Officially, I have three classes today. I have one lab, one lecture, and one recitation. But the recitation, I'm not gonna lie, I have not gone to since the first week of school. So, I only have two classes today. Okay, so I just finished doing my makeup. Looks pretty good. And this is my outfit for today. This is like my go-to outfit and this is probably what you'll see me wearing 80% of the time. Like some sort of iteration. It's either gonna be like jeans and leggings and like some sort of tank top and this flannel. And I think I'm just gonna wear my Nike blazers today. This one is very infected, but I shoved an earring in because I don't want it to close and, and it hurts, but I'm gonna deal with it. <gasps> Let's go. I'm walking to my mechanical engineering lab section. I'm actually walking in a part that not a lot of people are at because I am right now incredibly anxious right now about the fact that I'm filming in public and I'm so scared that I might run into someone I know. You know what, what I've realized is if I don't know them, I shouldn't give a crap. And if I do know them, they also shouldn't give a crap because they're my friends. But I'm still hoping my friends don't see this because will I care? <laughs> yeah, a lot. In our lab portion right now, we're working on making like these night lights, like blinking night lights out of circuits and like Arduino boards and breadboard thingies. I don't really know that much about it. I'm just like following a tutorial and like doing what like the guide sheet says. We're like falling deeper, At this point, I've given up on the quizzes. Introduce yourself. I'm shy. So this is my. Oh, I thought I just dropped something. This is my friend Lucas, and up, a few days ago he got a girlfriend. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Why are you still recording? Stop, bro. <laughs> so, um, if you ever want to get a girl, this works like a hundred percent. You have to, you have to say these two words, and it just works. Say molto robusto. Molto robusto. Molto, no, no, molto robusto. Oh, you know what that means, though? What? <laughs> no, no, it just means robust. robust. No, his exact words yesterday was. <laughs> was what, Haley? Fake. <laughs> that was called McLellan. And they have food. Wait, what What kind of food does McClellan have? So McClellan has no. the same thing every time. They have uh, chicken bowls, okay. sushi, okay. and um, udon okay. soup. Okay, show it. So this is a uh, spicy tuna. You can't tell what that is. Open it. Mm. Oh! You have to wow. get a 4.0 to get into the school, but if you do... You, have you some, get some you shitty can have udon. Some shitty soup. For a whopping $17, $17 a meal piece. Slime. We just spent $34. 
There he is. Jack, say hi. I'm Jack. <laughs> uh, what makes you special? I don't know. <laughs> so people say we look uh, pretty similar. I would agree to disagree. So I'm an example of someone who tried very hard to get into the school. And um, this is an example of someone who paid their way in. <laughs> I don't know how to trauma. Hello, what's your name? Who are you? <laughs> Hello, what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> Why is he doing that? What's your major? I'm an anthropology major. I, uh, I go to class in the museum. Most of the anthropology classes are there and um, usually get to look around at the museum, see like the different things. There's a big sphinx at the entrance. It's kind of cool. But um, there's like big uh, atriums in there with lots of seats. It's like a really cool place to study. There's a library too. The library's really warm during the winter. They dress it up. And um, yeah, that's where I study most of the time. Wow. It's pretty close to Hill College House. So if you're studying anthro, Hill's probably the place to be. It's close to the quad too. Uh, no one asked. Am I getting money for that? <laughs> another time, another place. I just Ooh, the light shining in Jack's hair. Yeah, come through on, uh, Could have been you. Like, oh, what a crime and what a shame. Sometimes I just don't know what to do. I really need to pee. But my friend's waiting downstairs for me, so I did not have time to pee, which is kind of sad. Because I really need to pee. Gianni, say hi. Oh, <laughs> <that's your laughs> I was the Gianni she mentioned in her QA. <laughs> Oh my god. I want to be in one of your videos so bad. Oh, are you recording right now? Yeah, it's recording. Hi everyone. We're on Locust right now. We're going to Paris Baguette. We're gonna study. Yes. Yeah, like we always do at Paris Baguette. <laughs> Great video ideas. Do you want something? On me. Um, For let the me choose. <laughs> Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Gianni. Um, I'm Haley's best, best, best friend. <laughs> Me being in this vlog is how many months in the making? Last March. Last March. So it's been eight months. <laughs> I gotta tell everyone I'm famous. Now. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm on Haley's YouTube now, guys. <laughs> So this is, I actually don't know. <laughs> this is Mediterranean style vegetables, uh -huh. apparently. I don't know what this is. Salad. This looks pretty bad. This is from like the, I don't know it's what pretty this watery. is. It's some sort of Asian cuisine. And then I got a loaded potato, which I think this is going to be good. I think that'll be good. Because I don't think you can really fuck up uh, That's what you think. potatoes. They fucked up mac and cheese yesterday, so. It did not look good. It was not good. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be depressing though if they like, can't think of it. Like, uh, you, you seem nice. Oh, so Phil. Uh, what happened? Uh, I don't know what that is. So, I just woke up from like a two, three hour nap. Long story short, I just really don't want to do work right now. I do have a midterm in my science and religion class tomorrow. Um, have I studied for it? Um, approximately 15 minutes. Let's talk about all the reason I feel like my life is not in control right now. The first major thing I feel like is making me feel kind of like, Ugh, and out of control lately is 
I've realized that I have not been giving enough care into my grades and I guess like my academic side of school in high school if I didn't have an A in a class, it would almost always be on my mind. It kind of been bugging my mind and I would always put an active effort into raising my grade to get it to an A. But it's weird, like in college, especially this semester, I'll have like a B plus in a class, which is not bad by any means, but I'll just be like, eh, it's a B plus, good enough. But I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be complacent with my grades because I'm only doing one club right now and it's not really doing much in the club yet. So I feel like I'm almost not doing any club. So I feel like the only thing going for me right now in terms of like career and internships and everything is just the fact that I have really good grades and I feel like I can't afford to lose that. And like, for example, in one of my mechanical engineering lab sections, I have not turned in something that was due in like late September yet. And I just don't care. This midterm I have tomorrow. I've not studied at all, basically, and I don't care. And then like the second thing is, I don't know, I just feel so unmotivated lately and I feel like I have so much free time on my hands, but I'm just kind of wasting it, like taking naps or hanging out with friends and everything, which I think are like very important parts of, you know, college. I think it's important to hang out with friends and everything, but sometimes I do wonder if I do that too much. And I feel like I'm not like maximizing my time like some of the other people around me do. And I feel like, you know, everyone around me, all my friends have so much on their plate, you know, their schedule's kind of packed and mine's just kind of like bare. And I'm like, oh, tell me when you're free. Cause I'm always free. And I think another big thing that's really affected kind of the place I am in my life is that I'm single again, which feels really weird saying because I feel like I've kind of been avoiding saying it. Like, I'm not going to go too much into detail about it, but I broke up after nine months of dating and it was like my first serious relationship. So I feel like the past three weeks or like month since we've broken up, I really had no idea how to like navigate everything. It's made me feel more isolated being at Penn because I kind of don't have that one person to ground me because like I know I need to let this part go and move on and live my life and move forward and I think I have been doing that the past week I think the first two weeks I really had to like learn how to function again because I honestly couldn't do anything without thinking of this person I couldn't eat for a week I lost like I don't know like 10 pounds I couldn't sleep, I couldn't even go to class because it's like the time of the semester at Penn where there's like a lot of date nights going on and just a lot of social events. So last weekend I was able to go to my sorority's date night. I got to go to uh, my friend's frat's date night. And I think it was like a really good kind of like distraction or kind of aha moment. My other friend that broke up with her boyfriend and we kind of like realized like there are benefits, or I don't know if I want to call it benefits, but parts of my life that is not made more sucky by being single. <laughs> because like that was kind of my outlook on everything before last weekend. This weekend was like one of those times where it felt nice to not have to like consider anyone else when it came to my weekend, which was very nice. It's 1.47 a.m. right now. I've been studying and writing like notes for my midterm tomorrow for I'd say like an hour, hour and a half since like around 12. I think I'm just gonna take off my makeup, take a body shower, go to sleep watching YouTube videos. So yeah, I think this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this day in a life. That was probably stupid. I'm gonna try to make this into kind of a series. I actually do want suggestions. Comment down below um, what I should name it because I know like there's like the Living Alone Diaries that Michelle Choi does. I thought about just calling it College Diaries, but not gonna lie, there's a small part of me that does kind of want to incorporate the fact that it's like a pen vlog so please tell me any name suggestions if you guys have any 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, like the video, subscribe, you know the deal, comment down below anything you want to say, any video ideas, any thoughts, any, I don't know, anything. Just comment anything if you want. And yeah, I will see you guys some other time. I'm not going to try to name a time because we both know it's probably not going to be right. Ding.